Hi everybody, welcome again to another episode of Fish Keeping Jamaica. Welcome to my channel. As you can as you can tell, I have a pond system at my yard. In my backyard, I have some aquariums inside, but presently they are they are not being used. Okay, today's video, a very short video, very it might look at as if it's fun, but it's serious in the sense that what it actually what I'm actually trying to share with you is something that you should consider. Now today's video is entitled Five foolish ways in which your fish might die. Okay, let's let's go. Let's go. What? So, I have some fish that are greedy. One of that fish, one of that type of fish I have are goldfish. Now, goldfish, they are gullible, especially when they are hungry. Now, one night I came home and um, I decided that I'm going to crush up some garlic and I'm going to throw it into my my pond. You know, garlic is good for your fish, right? Okay. So I threw the garlic in there and by the time I went in to come out, I saw my one of my biggest big tail um goldfish actually gapping for bit at the top of the water. Upon checking the goldfish, the goldfish actually died eventually. A piece of garlic was in the gold, goldfish throat. Right? So I learned from that that the garlic should be cut up much finer than that. So, alright, your next door neighbor is spring. Spray some insects off his or her tree. Spray hit the insect and the insect come to the pond and drink some water. In drinking the water, you have some cichlids. And the cichlids start the insect. The insect is not all that, you know, uh, I call it now, uh, alert because it has the spray on it. And the fish, of course, loving its tummy, just jump and actually eat that insect. In a few minutes, not even hours, right? Now, you might say that this is not a foolish way in which the fish might die, uh, but this is just simply a coincidence. But this do happen. Um, myself having an outdoor system is a very risky thing. It's very risky in the sense that insects such as this might actually come by my yard without me knowing and my fish might actually take a gulp and it die. There's nothing I can do, right? Cool. Another way in which uh, fish might die stupidly is having a uh, gravel substrate. I did this in a video before, right? Having a gravel substrate. Now, fish such as arowana and goldfish should not have gravel substrate. Why? Because they have this tendency to actually take up these pebbles, these large substrate uh, pebbles, and actually peel it in them out. I've seen on ca I'm seeing cases where it's goldfish and arowana have actually died choking on the gravel substrate that was in the aquarium or pond so you can actually take heat from this right another way in which uh fish might die very stupidly is that well it's not really stupid but based on the owners like you know so i i you know coarse salt is very thick for those persons who don't know coarse salt you can check it up on the internet so I purchased a few pounds of coarse salt and to put to put all put, to put coarse salt in all of my ponds it takes about probably about two or three pounds of coarse salt one dose right and the coarse salt grains are very thick like gravel and fine gravel so I actually placed some into my ponds and things but not paying any mind to a uh, set of fish in which I had uh, you know because usually at that point in time I normally feed the fish uh, the fish actually went up and actually go below the, the salt, right? Uh, the fish never died. I did a little miracle there, getting out the salt from out of the, 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 the fish throat and the fish survived. But this is just to point to you that sometimes you do things intended to be of benefit to your fish, but in turn, it end up killing them, right? Another stupid way in which a fish might die. You are changing the water and you actually put the fish in a shallow container of water. Meanwhile, you actually take care of the system. I have it, it happened to me here, right? Where I am actually changing the water in my ponds. But because I cannot mix fish, by the way, I practice having species only aquarium, having species of, uh, uh, only um, ponds. So therefore, I, I take out some fish and I put into a, a shallow bucket. Meanwhile, I'm actually doing the cleaning. Now, meanwhile, I'm doing the cleaning. The fish jumps out. When the fish jumps out, I never see the fish until when I sweep up the place. When I am sweeping up, 
you know, cleaning up after I've, I've actually, you know, looked at my, my, my plants, sick up the dead leaves and all that. And I've actually, you know, sweeping up, getting the place nice and speak and span. I see the fish in the corner, the fish is dead. What happened is that the fish was in the shallow container because I never tell the fish to sit and stay. The fish actually jump asking me what is the problem. So the fish actually died. So here you have five ways in which a fish might die. Right? Mark, mark you guys. Learn from my example. I am not a perfect, I am not a perfect fish keeper. So we learn together. Thank you very much for stopping by. Peace.